Hi friends, I'm Citizen Oluwatosin. When it comes to football in Africa, Nigeria is sure number one. No doubt about that. Other nationality might want to debate this, but we are number one. Said, you know, by Egyptians and other African countries that feel they play better football. Today on showcasing Nigerian businesses in UAE, I have a Nigerian that is uh, doing extremely well in UAE here, training kids from all around the world that are based in Dubai, training them about football. And today I'm here to speak with Coach Yoshi. Let's find him. Coach! Oh, my brother, how are you, man? <laughs> good to see you, man. Good to see you, Coach. Yeah. How are you doing? How are you doing? Uh, I'm doing good, man. As you can see, we're here busy with the boys, with the session. Yeah. Great. I can see you have you have a very nice place. I must confess. Yeah. I like the the fit. Too. Yeah. Before I go, you know, I need to show some nice skills. As a retired, you want you know. to you, you want to practice with the boys? Yeah, sure, sure. But they're gonna. <laughs> it's not gonna be easy. They will disappoint you. <laughs> okay. Yeah. Now, mm. we, I'm going around UAE, mm. Dubai, mm. to speak with Nigerian business owners in Dubai. Mm encouraging them, giving them their flowers because mm. you guys are really trying mm. for us here. Putting our names on a good book, mm. business owners in UAE and yes. especially imparting next generation like you are doing. Thank you so much. It's God bless. Thank, thank, you so much. thank you so much for what you're doing. Thank you so much. It's actually people like you that make us keep going because like you said, as Nigerian it's all about the image. Mm -hmm. We're just trying our part to ensure that people begin to see Nigerians as the, uh, as who we are because there's the image is really bad and not every Nigerian is bad yeah so we're here we have you know like you see we're engaging the kids you know giving them session trying to ensure that they keep fit they keep learning keep getting better and improving and who knows maybe we can get next Messi or Cristiano Ronaldo sure. from here sure yeah, sure. yeah. interesting <laughs> that's interesting okay. so yep doing business as Nigerian mm. in UAE yeah. I I know for sure it's been difficult recently absolutely, absolutely. so and we are putting out this content mm. to encourage Nigerians that are still out there struggling mm. and thinking they are the end of the road mm. so I don't know if you have something to say to a Nigerian that is out there and they are probably struggling today mm. see I have read your story mm. in college times mm. I've watched the video with uh, Rashi also mm. I know how the Journey. the struggling days I know how it's been mm. and you are in the best position to talk to somebody out there that has been struggling in Nigeria, a Kenyan, an African, an Asian person that has been struggling and they just feel it's they want fun. to give up. Yeah. Please. No, well, uh, that's a that's a very good question. I think Nigerians or Africans as large should know that this country is not against us. Great. There is this notion, perception that Africans, this African, that nobody is against us. Great. It is we against we. To be honest with you, if we do what is right, yes. people are out there willing to engage us, willing to work with us, invest willing to give us. us, invest in us, willing to give us the opportunity we deserve. Like my story, as you said, I was supported by an Indian. He saw me on the street putting in the effort, you know, doing my best I can do. He came to me. I didn't go and ask him. He came to me and he believed in me. He, he had faith in me. And that's why we have what we have to do. Great. So what I can tell to other Nigerians out there is, first and foremost, we need to fix our mindset. Great. We need to fix how we think towards ourselves. Because even ourselves, we think, no, we are, we are evil. We are not this. We are not that. No. 
As long as we fix ourselves, we put in the right thing every single day, and we do our best genuinely without any, you know, uh, any anything behind it of you know cheating or deceiving other people. Trust me, I think the opportunities here are unlimited. This is a country that you and I know have built on the premises of opportunities, possibilities. Yeah. It is open for all. Nobody is against an African. Nobody, in my opinion. Because I'm a living uh, uh, um, proof, all the nationalities are willing to engage us, to collaborate, to right. partner, to right. work with us, right. to support us, right. to even invest in us, as you put. But are we ready for that? Are we the, Did are we, we, do we have the right mindset? Exactly. Did we present ourselves in a position where they feel comfortable to engage us? You know. So I think we need to fix ourselves. We need to believe in ourselves. We need to change our mindset, and we need to put in the right effort. When I say right effort, I see many Africans who are putting the hard work but in the right way. Maybe uh, they have some hidden agenda behind what they're doing. If you clean your heart, if you have a good um, uh, heart, trust me, the, the opportunities are unlimited. Of course. Okay. Coach Yoshi, mm. I know doing business in UAE currently as Nigerians are challenging. We know what Nigeria is passing through mm. in the last two, three years in UAE. Mm. What can you say to the Nigerian government? What appeal can you help us call on the Nigerian government to help out? Especially to you guys that are doing business mm. and to the rest of us that we are just mm. want to go back to our work. Mm. Well, it's very important uh, you, you point out this because uh, honestly, it's not easy for Nigerians. First and foremost, with regards to obtaining the license, uh, all the documentation it's really not easy wherever you go when your passport is Nigerian passport it's really challenging uh, but I was lucky I was able to pass through all of this thing. but like you said there's so many other people who want to start their own businesses so we're calling on the government to look into that there's so many Nigerians here who wants to you know live legitimately genuinely do their own businesses and grow so the government sh should consider them. All we're asking, we're not asking the government to give us money. We're asking the government to fix the policies, to fix the relationship between them and the UAE, to make it, you know, um, comfortable and conducive for Nigerians to be able to start and grow their businesses. You know, like every other nationality, we have uh, so many nationalities here who start their business and excel in no time. But for Nigerian, it's really challenging. Because like, I t honestly, even other than that some people when they feel when they know that I'm a Nigerian owning this they have been a second thought but then when they get to know us and be with us they realize oh this is the best place I, I, I need to be so we need the government to look into that to ensure that they, 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 they right the wrongs that is currently out there to enable Nigerians to start grow and excel in their businesses here that is how the image will change because if you don't have have the if you if you cannot start your own business and grow that's why you see so many Nigerians doing bad things around some of them they want to do what what is right but the platform is not there for them so we are calling on the government to support on that to ensure that Nigerians continue to start grow and excel their businesses here thank you so much Dara. thank you, thank so, you so much my much. brother thank you so much it's really it's really great having you okay friends thank you so much on this episode of meeting and giving flowers are giving kudos to Nigerian business owners in UAE. Guess where we are going next? Guess where we are going next? Tag your friends that have businesses in UAE in the comment section and very soon you'll we'll be visiting them. I'm Citizen Yenudu Atisi and this is you right here. It's my cup of tea. But, mm. I love this. Who is the best player? Goalkeeper. Oh, the goalkeeper. So <laughs> penalty, shoot. Oh, you had to try. You know? I said, I said, <laughs> but I did I have two of them. I said, Come. <laughs> I have I have I said you wanna try them? Yeah. I said come. Yeah, let's I let's. said listen. He All said right. he's a good goalkeeper. You wanna try you as a goalkeeper? No, I'm a good striker. Oh striker. Yeah. Okay. So you wanna I want try to try penalty. You wanna try penalty with you? I said I need you to show him your skills. Stop him, okay? Come on, I said, let's do this. So out yeah. of five, you want to bet on your boy here, your best keeper here. Yeah. Out of five, I will score three. 
I said, did you hear Audio that? Five. Let's stop him. Let's stop the whole fight. Can we do that? But no up ball. You said? Don't put the ball up. <laughs> <laughs> no up ball. Okay. <laughs> yeah, because, because of the height. height yeah. If you put up, <laughs> it's cheat. <laughs> it's a cheat, yeah. But if you put it medium height, I said, we're going to stop this. Sure? Okay. Can we do this? Come on, okay. I said. <laughs> So, yeah. which of the posts? <laughs> yeah, let's go try that way. Let's ah, okay. go there. Yeah. Ah, okay. Yeah, so it's a short post. I'm, I'm thinking about what we can. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Yeah, we can. We can always. If you want to, can mention the visa issue briefly. Yeah. Not to. No, actually, I was. That's why I was waiting for you to ask the question. Ah. He, okay. get, no, that kind of stuff. Okay, okay. I was expecting I, you to to ask. Then I, uh, you know. Ah, okay. Yeah, I don't want to just start. Boys, go to coach. Go to coach. We have a challenge here. Sammy, can I have the ball? Ha! <laughs> <laughs> ah, we're we're gonna take from here. <laughs> from here. <laughs> I said, you can do this. I said, listen, don't be scared. Don't be scared. Start in the middle. Try and stop the ball, okay? He's not going to shoot hard. Just try and stop the ball. Okay, I said, come on, I said. Come on, I said. Come on, stay on the line, I said. I said, on the line. Move back on the line. We can do this, I said. Come on. All right, you ready? Yeah. All right, let's go. Play. The first kick. Yes! <laughs> what a good save, I said. Come on. First save, okay. Okay, let's go, let's go. I said, good run, come on. I said, I said, be ready. In the middle, in the middle, I said. We can do this. All right, play. Come on, I said. Yes! The Second pass is too small. <laughs> good run, I said. Second save. The pass is too small. But no, not too hard, okay? Okay, okay. Come on, I said. Oh. Yes! Beast! <laughs> Third one, beast. Come on, I said. <laughs> <laughs> yes! <laughs> now last kick, I told you, I said we can do this. this. Last kick, no, no, stop the ball first, stop the ball. This pose is it's too small. This is not I said we can do this, I said, come on, last one, last kick. Come on, I said. Come on, I said. No! <laughs> Good one, Asad. Come on, come on. Well done, well done, Asad. <laughs> I told you, right my good. boy is going to stop all your kicks. Come on, Asad. Come on, come on. Well done, Asad. Very good, man. <laughs> go ahead, Asad. Asad, go ahead. At least. <laughs> How come I didn't score that goal? The post is too small. I need a bigger post. <laughs> Oh, <laughs> <laughs> 